Uh, next step we're going to go to is a hybrid. Uh, this is the new I-15, uh, 23 degree hybrid. Uh, we've selected for that particular club today, we've selected the new TFC 100H regular flux. H is standing for hybrid. As with our fairways, it ends with an F and then driver ends with a D. Uh, very simple to know, recognize which shaft is which. To start that process today, what we're going to do is we're going to apply our ferrule. It's a 350 tip diameter, and I'm going to grab a uh, ferrule setter here, and I simply apply, apply that to the top of the shaft and simply tap it into position. I just got done applying that ferrule, as I mentioned before, and the re what that's for is one, for aesthetics, but two, also to uh, set, the, set the club, the shaft into the club properly. Uh, from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this to length. So I'm going to walk over here to the uh, cutter and we'll apply it on the length table. Again, we'll butt it up against the, the length plate. That's going to be for the I-15 and the 23 degree. That's going to be 39.75. So I'm going to just simply mark the shaft at that point, keeping it up against the plate at all times. Simply pull the head off, start my cutter, and away we cut. That is now cut to the standard length at 39.75. I always double check my work. 39.75 it is. Now from there we're going to come over to our digital weight scale where I'm going to simply plug into the system what we're going to be building. So I'm going to go into the family of club which is the hybrids. For instance the I-15 hybrid graphite in the length of the, 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 the loft is 23 degrees. So from there uh, we're going to go into the standard length and then for instance uh, whatever grip you would like on these clubs we can simply choose to, uh, choose the appropriate one out of the drawer uh, for instance for the I-15 it's called the new IDA grip so what we're going to do here for the players is we would uh, mark down, we would actually weigh each and every single one of these grips. So for instance, because this is ungripped, I'm going to actually put this on the scale and get the appropriate grip weight, which is 51.7. I'm going to then plug in that grip weight right here on the computer, which is 51.7 grams. Now the whole time this computer is going to be taking into account that calculation. So I simply place this club on the weight scale, and you can see it's it's currently measuring that. So what that system is telling me is I'm going to need to use three, either a one gram weight with some what we call glue, or simply use a two gram weight, one gram glue. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this club off, I'm going to place it on our scale, I'm going to measure the overall weight of that club right now. The overall head weight is 238.4. So I'm going to zero that scale out. In this situation, what I'm chosen to do. Is I've chosen to use a one gram weight and 2.5 grams of glue. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to place this needle inside of the, the head of the club, and I'm going to estimate what two two and a half grams of glue is going to be inside the head. Glue is a name of uh, a type of uh, almost like a glue that we'd apply inside the head uh, to attain swing weight and also uh, to catch any loose uh, particles that might be inside the head, which through manufacturing, we have a very high tolerance on quality, so we want to make sure there's no errors later on. The consumer doesn't have to send the club back in for repair. So I'm going to check how much glue I put in there. As you can see, I measured about 2.4 grams of glue, 2.5, that's the final, and that's exactly what I needed to put in. So from there, that club is ready to be capped and prepped for uh, shafting. To do that, what we're going to do is now we're going to seal the hole at the bottom of that hosel. We're going to put what we what we refer to as the red cap inside the inside of the hosel, and we're simply going to push that down inside the head. Get that nice and square. 
and we're going to push that down to seal the hole into the head. That is now ready and prepped to be uh, glued. I'm going to move on to the driver. Again, I'm going to come in and I'm going to grab my 350 tip. I'm going to grab my ferrule setter. So when you hear that solid sound, that's, that's when you know you hit the rock bottom. <laughs> I'm going to take this now again. This is now ready for measuring and trimming. I'm going to step back. The current standard on uh, metal woods is 45 and 3 quarters. I'm going to measure to 45 and 3 quarters. I'm going to simply take the head off one more time and just trim away. And we're perfect. I'm going to come over here again to the digital weight scale. This time I'm going to change the family selection to driver. Again, building a driver metalwood I 15 graphite driver at standard men's length and a grin, measuring the grip weight. I'm going to put this on here. At 51.7 one more time so we're good on the grip one more time and that just goes to show just to let the consumers know with our grips where they're measured and, and de designed and built to a quality standard we the weight variance between our grips is very very tight so if I had to measure all five five of these grips they would be very very close within 0.2 grams so very very accurate I'm gonna then put this on here and request a D force D4 swing weight on the driver, and I'm going to place it one more time. Current swing weight is C7. D4 is requested. It's telling me that I need to add 9.4 grams of weight. So what I'm going to do in that situation is again I'm going to pull off the head. I'm going to place it on our scale here. We'll zero it out, and I'm going to add eight grams of gilu and one gram weight to the tip. Come over here. With the guns, we have a good idea that one full pump is about five grams. So okay. we just guesstimate. We always err on the side, light side, and then add as we need it. So right now that's 6.8, 6.7. I still need to add about 1.3 grams. So better to be, better to be just a, a little bit on the heavier side. But uh, we're gonna, we want to make it exact. I mean, when the player comes in and says, "I want D4 swing weight," we want a D4 swing weight. There's, there's no tolerance. We want the perfect club. And there you go, eight grams of weight.